Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We welcome you to Wings of Intercession Prophetic Prayer Movement. I'm Prophetess Misty Goodwin. We're under the leadership of our pastor, Dr. Russell Antonio Goodwin Sr. We thank God for each and every one of you. Be the evangelist of the ministry. Invite others on the call for you don't know who has need of Jesus this morning. We believe God is going to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think according to the power working in each one of us. Y'all excuse my tardiness, but I got a download from heaven right before coming on. And I had to really just dissect that word and just reflect on that word and stand in that word. Glory to God. So y'all be patient for I'm just really trying to realign my thoughts to what the Lord just said to me. And I'm getting ready to release it now. Let me find the scripture that he gave me real quick. And we're going to pray. I'm telling you, invite someone on the call today for somebody needs Jesus and I'm telling you, this word is truly a word from the Lord that's going to help you to navigate through this season. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you, Father, for this day. We thank you, Lord, for this day, this opportunity to dwell in your presence. God, we decrease that you increase, and we invite the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us in understanding of this word. This word, we're going to stand in this word. We're going to meditate on this word. We're going to walk in this word. We're going to live by this word. We're going to see a demonstration of this word, and you're going to get the glory, praise, and honor. Thank you, Lord. The word is alive. <clears throat> it's sharper than a two-edged sword. It's rightly dividing the soul and the spirit, God. We decree and declare that there will be no, no hindrance of the word going forth. The word can go forth unhindered and unchecked by any satanic forces. And so we thank you, Father, today that you're speaking through your word today, God, and we can hear your voice. We can obey your instruction and the voice of a stranger we will not follow. We'll hear your voice, obey, and move in demonstration of your power, and you're going to be glorified in this word. Glory to God. The Bible says in Proverbs 10, 22, the blessings of the Lord make it rich and he added no sorrow. And so before I came on this morning, the father said this morning, I'm bringing inner healing for financial breakthrough. I'm bringing inner healing for financial breakthrough. And so the Lord began to speak to me concerning finances. And he began to talk to me concerning entrepreneurs and business owners and those who just need a major breakthrough financially. And the Lord said that he has to heal your soul so that you can have an understanding of how to move through this time and season of your life. Usually when you go through financial storms, you move in familiarity, but the Lord is doing a new thing. He's moving in a new way and he's challenging you to receive what it is he told you to do. So these storms usually come because there's some wisdom that needs to come forth. There's some obedience that needs to come forth. There's some truth that needs to come forth. There's some responsibility that needs to come forth. There's some tending to your soil that needs to come forth. There's some revelation that needs to come forth. There's some moments of, of steps that God has ordered for you that needs to come forth. And this is a time and a season that if you keep looking at finances, you're going to miss God. It's really about the repetition of his word, about your obedience to what he told you to do, trusting him with your finances, being obedient to the stewardship of the gifts and calling on your life. The father said, I, the Lord, am working in you so that you can work out the wealth I've already anointed you to carry out. So what the enemy is doing, he's attacking the area where your wealth is. 
He's attacking because he knows the outcome of what God has spoken concerning your life. He's attacking because there's some discipline that you got to rise up in. So what God is doing in this hour, he's allowing things to happen to grow you, to mature you in a full understanding of your wealthy place. And for those who are entrepreneurs and God has given you vision, he's given you business ideas, he's given you books, this is where your wealth resides and you got to get to that thing in which he told you to do and stop waiting for perfection. Stop waiting for the conditions to be all together, but be obedient to what the Lord has steward put for you to steward in the earth. For this is your wealthy place, saith the Lord. The Lord has anointed you for wealth. He's anointed you for increase. He's anointed you for overflow. He's anointing you for abundance. He anointed you to uh, the wealth anointing is resting in the marketplace and God is raising up his children to do a quick work. And so no matter where you are, if you're an entrepreneur, I'm telling you the Lord is going to bless your business, but he's going to bless the soil of your soul so that you can begin to maintain the blessings of the Lord that is rich and he adds no sorrow. The Lord said you should not be sorrowful about these attacks. You should also, you should be rejoicing because God's hand is on your life. He got you and stop looking at your bank account. Start looking within because the kingdom of God is within. The kingdom of God suffered violence, but the violent take it by force. And you're going to have to take back your financial freedom by force. You're going to have to see your debt cancellation by force. You're going to have to work the word until it works by force. Glory to God. For the Lord is not, uh, is not a man that he can lie. His blessings, the blessings of the Lord is rich and he has no sorrow. So these blessings are going to overtake you. These blessings start in the soil of your soul. So today we are getting ready to pray for the inner healing, for your financial freedom. I feel the glory of God. Oh, glory to your name, Father. I decree and declare your eyes will bear witness with your wealthy place. Your um, your heart will bear witness with your wealthy place. Glory to God. Your soul will bear witness with your wealthy place. Your bank accounts will bear witness with your wealthy place. Huh? You will be able to bear witness with your wealthy place because struggle is not your portion. Glory to God. It is not the will of God for you to struggle. It's not the will of God for you to be stressed out. It's not the will of God for you to be overwhelmed. It's not the will of God. Oh, glory to your name, Father. Lord, we thank you. As today is a new day, a new day of revelation concerning financial freedom. Father, you have anointed us for wealth. You've given us power to get wealth. You've given us wisdom to get wealth. You've given us truth to get wealth. You've given us your word to get wealth. You've given us the power and authority to walk in new levels of healing in us that we can perceive believe and receive that wealth is our portion. Father, I come against the spirit of poverty. We'll try to rise up in your people to overtake them in struggle. In the name of Jesus, we bind up the works of the devil who would cause familiarity to continue in patterns and cycles, oh God, that would keep us from making wrong financial decisions. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare today is an awakening of the soul that there will be wisdom that will pour out. I see the Lord pouring out wisdom in your soul, the soil of your soul, that that's going to bring major healing and restoration to your finances. I feel the glory of God. I thank God today, where you lack wisdom, the power of God is coming upon you. You're going to tie wisdom around your neck. You're going to listen to the voice of God. You're going to obey his instructions and, and the voice of a stranger. You will not follow in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that that business transaction 
blessings will continue to increase because you have the mindset to receive all of what God has placed on the inside of you. For you have been anointed for where I decree and declare that those who are procrastinating on the vision and dreams and which God has given unto them, God, you're going to begin to stir them up and activate them to move in the right direction. I decree and declare today in the name of Jesus that those who have things that have need to be birthed out of the spirit, God, you said you're going to pull it up out of us. I thank you, Lord Jesus. You're pulling up out of us wealth. You're pulling up out of us wisdom. You're pulling up out of us understanding. You're pulling up out of us revelation. You're pulling up out of us truth. Huh? You're pulling up out of us timing. You're pulling up out of us contracts and uh, coins and connections. Glory to God. We thank you, Lord, today. There are global, global moves of financial freedom. That's going to overtake us. Glory to God. The power of wealth is going to overtake our minds. And I decree and declare your people will pull down the strongholds of struggle financial. I decree and declare that the strongholds of financial struggle is being pulled down, is being annihilated, is being destroyed. We cast down every imagination and every high thing and exhaust itself against our wealthy place. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare we bear witness with your word that your word is truth in our life. Glory to God. I decree and declare that those who are weary on their job, but they are entrepreneurs, God, that you'll give them the strength. You'll give them the balance. You'll give them the wisdom. You'll give them the opportunities, God. You'll give them the open doors. You'll give them the favor. You'll give them the increase. You'll give them the strength uh, to overcome the struggles of balancing their family and birthing out the business. God, I thank you today. You've anointed us for well. Glory to God. You anointed entrepreneurs to balance their life. Glory to God that they will be the CEO. Full-time marketplace ministry will come forth up out of them in the name of Jesus. And there will be no lack in the name of Jesus. So I thank you, Lord, for the timing of God that's resting upon us, the steps that are ordered for us. Glory to God. We'll walk in the steps you order for us. The walk that we will see high, the wealth of the wicked that's laid up for the righteous as we come up higher in you. Oh, Lord, we'll see the wealth. We'll smell the wealth. We'll walk in the wealth. And Father, we know that it's all for the kingdom of God to finance the kingdom. We are kingdom financiers. We are anointed to finance the kingdom of God. And we thank you, Lord, that you are blessing us. Lord, I thank you. I want you to say this this morning. Lord, you can trust me with what I have so that you can trust me with more. I want you to say this with me, Lord, you can trust me with what I have, so you can trust me with what I heard the Lord say, if I can trust you with, with what you have, I know I can trust you with what I'm about to give you. Some of you are in a season of testing. Do not fail the test. Keep being obedient unto the Lord. Keep tithing. Keep giving your offering. Keep sowing. Glory to God. Keep giving glory to God, for you are a kingdom financier. Don't allow the intimidation of of lack to overtake you because it's a seed that can continuously cause your harvest to overtake your life. The enemy wants you to fear. He wants you to walk in states of uh, confusion, but I decree and declare you're going to listen to the voice of God. You're going to obey his instructions. You're not going to be intimidated by your wealthy place. You're not going to be intimidated by your season of overcoming. Oh, glory to God. You're in between blessings. You're not struggling. You're in between blessings, but you're already blessed. Glory to God. You're blessed going in of this month and blessed coming out of this month. You're going to have more than you ever had in the name of Jesus because you're going to be obedient to the word of God. You're going to live by the principles of God in the name of Jesus. I pray for those who do not have the faith for tithing, for giving, for sowing. I pray in the name of Jesus that you grow up in your faith so that you can go to your wealthy place. <clears throat> the season of testing, you have to pass the test in order to get to your wealthy place. You cannot, you cannot microwave yourself out of this. You cannot, you cannot do anything but be obedient to the Lord. The Lord is a, a gracious God, he, but he's also a patient God. In other words, God will allow you to go through seasons of struggle until you get the principles that he taught. Because in this, this is where your wealthy place is. When you learn to 
to walk in repetition and discipline of financial freedom. You'll never be, uh, you'll never be broke another day in your life because you'll always have seed in the ground, which will always produce a harvest in your life. So I pray today that your faith will rise to the occasion of the kingdom principles concerning finances, that you will not fall, you fall into the trap of, uh, of grace periods and confusion and false doctrine in the name of Jesus, for there's only one way to financial freedom, and that's through the kingdom of God, through the principles of God, through the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. There, there is no other way. This is the only way. Glory to God. God says, this is the way. Walk in it. This is the way. Prepare for it. This is the way. Run in it. Glory to God. You are already blessed going in and out of this month. Don't you allow the intimidation May you use wisdom. May you walk in guidance. May you listen to the voice of God. May you trust him. May you over may you be found willing and obedient to the things he says. Let me give you an example. When you are in a season of testing, the Lord will challenge you to do something and and you may say I don't have it. Listen, this is about you and God. This is not about uh emotional giving. This is not about when somebody prompts you to give and you give it and you didn't have it because the Lord didn't tell you to give. This is about you walking with the Father and you being obedient to the instructions he gives you. You knowing and understanding what time and season you're in financially. You discerning and walking in new levels of understanding will give you the wisdom and guidance to overcome. God is a gentleman. He's wisdom. He's grace. He's mercy. And oftentimes many go into financial crisis because they give out of necessity. They give out of frustration. They give out of fear. No, you give out of obedience to God, doing what God told you to do personally in your private time. Glory to God. Being consistent in your tithing. Glory to God. Not being moved away. When you get consistent, when you become persistent, when you trust God with all of what you have been given and be a good steward over all that you have been given, your finances will be free. I hear the Lord said, I'm going to free your finances today in the name of Jesus. Now, when I free your finances, don't you go back to Egypt. Don't you go back to procrastinating. Don't you go back to being limited in your obedience to God. Don't you go back to uh, paying your tithes here and there. Be consistent. Be persistent. Trust God with it all. Glory to God because he can trust you. When he can trust you, you're going to see your wealthy place. You're going to see your increase. You're going to see your overflow. You're going to see your abundance. You're going to see everything God said concerning you. So I thank God today that you're standing in the miracle of uh, money miracles. You're standing in the middle of money miracles today. You're going to see God do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ask or think, according to the power working in you. God is going to raise you up as a millionaire for the kingdom of God. <coughs> and all you need to do is trust him as he trusts you. Be obedient to him and glory to God. He's going to be glorified in all that he's blessed you to do in this hour of your life. I thank God today that there is a power surge overtaking you now. A power surge for increase. A power surge for overflow. A power surge for abundance in the name of Jesus. And those who are in a good place financially, I touch and agree for your whole bloodline to be blessed. I touch and agree that your whole bloodline shall walk in the wealthy place. I touch and agree your children and your children's children will find financial freedom. And I touch and agree that God is going to raise up generational wealth upon your family. I decree and declare today that you're going to see the fruit, the evidence, the promises of God in the land of the living. The Lord is pulling up out of you wealth. He's pulling up out of you wisdom. He's pulling up out of you power. He's giving pulling up out of you truth. And you're going to walk in it in ways you never imagined before. Today, I thank God he's entrusted us as a treasurer of the kingdom of God. I feel the glory of God. He's entrusted us as a treasurer of the kingdom of God. And he knows he's going to get it through us because he can get it to us. Hallelujah. He knows that it shall come to pass that what he puts in your hands, 
You're going to distribute it in the way he needs it to be distributed. If he puts it in your heart, he knows that you're going to be obedient to what he told you to do. And listen, you're not going to compromise. You're not going to uh, manipulate. You're not going to cause things to do it out of order. You're going to do it decently and in order according to the word of God, not in one season and out of season. You're going to be consistent in every season of your life in seed time and harvest. You'll always be in harvest time if you sow seed. If you keep seed in the ground, your harvest season is every season. Glory to God. So I thank God for your harvest, that the enemy will not eat up your harvest. The enemy will not overtake your harvest. The enemy will not come and steal your harvest in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the canker worms, the palmer worms, the wiles of the wicked, and every doorway of entry that the enemy has come to kill, steal, and destroy. Can I, can I share that? I heard the Lord. Can I share this with you? The spirit of perversion produces poverty. The spirit of perversion produces poverty. It's a doorway for the enemy to come in. And so you have to shut that door. That means you got to live a life of purity. You cannot be in sexual sin and want to walk in blessings of financial increase because per perversity, perversion, let me slow down. The spirit of perversion is the doorway of poverty. So when you walk in sexual sin and you get caught up in all these other doors, of intimacy out of season. It is the doorway of poverty. It comes and it has the authority to eat up your harvest. And the Lord says, share this today because many of you need to shut that door. You first need to repent. And I pray that God purifies the soil of your soul, that this season you will not fall into sexual sin. You will not fall into the traps of the wicked. You can be married and in sexual sin. Intimacy through pornography and all these other entryways. Glory to God. Shut that door. Repent. Turn back to the Lord. Purify your heart. Cleanse your mind. Wash your soul so that you can walk in new levels of freedom and liberation, saith the Lord. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. I pray over those who are lonely, who are sad who feel inadequate, I, ah, yeah, I pray for the healing of sexual brokenness. I feel the glory of God. I'm going to leave that alone because I we don't have time. Lord, have mercy. Oh, glory to God. The Lord said that door is the door to your struggle. That door is the door that's eating up your harvest. That door is the door that's taking you back to Egypt. That door is the door. That's leading you to a place that you cannot afford to go to, said the Lord. I pray whoever God is speaking to today that you will repent, that God will cleanse your heart, wash your mind, purify your soul, and make you whole again. I pray for inner healing, for financial freedom. I feel the glory of God. And I thank Lord today. This will be taught on Tuesday, I can guarantee you, for, for a healing school. It's because it just came in me. It just downloaded. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for speaking. Thank you, Lord. Your people are delivered and set free. I touch and agree with them today. Whatever they have need of, God, I pray whatever their requests are, Father, I pray that you answer the, answer it according to your perfect will. Let your perfect will be done in their life, God. I pray that you lead them and guide them in truth truth that will set them free and keep them free in the name of Jesus, God. And I decree and declare the gates of hell will not prevail against us, against our finances, against our children, against our businesses, against our resources. Thank you, Lord. Today, we are blessed. The blessings of the Lord is rich and he adds no sorrow and sorrow has no place in the place in the kingdom of God. So I call joy to your spirit. I call peace to your spirit. I call the love of God to your spirit. The Lord loves you. He has a plan for you to prosper you, to increase you, to overflow you. And you shall bar partake and you shall bear witness. And that the Lord is healing the soil of your soul for financial freedom this morning, supernatural moves of the spirit is resting upon you in the name of Jesus. And God is cutting the cord of a generational lack in your life. I feel the glory of God. The Lord is cutting the cord 
of generational lack. It no longer can attach to you. You have been delivered and set free. God has dipped your cord in the blood of Jesus. And now your DNA is in the kingdom of God and the kingdom of God. You are the son. You are the daughter of a king, the king of kings, the Lord of lords, the great I am, the El Shaddai, the almighty God. He loves you. He has a plan for you. And may you keep resting in God. I come against the spirit of depression because of finances. I come against the spirit of anxiety because of finances. I come against the spirit of fear because of finances. Today is your day of breakthrough. Today is your day of deliverance. Today is your day of healing. Today is your day of restoration. Today you're going to see signs and wonders and miracles that follow your finances because you believe God in the name of Jesus. Woo! Glory to God. We would be car accidents, freak accidents, the death angel, the murder spirit. Thank you, Father. This word is alive. It's sharper than a two-edged sword. You should watch over your word to perform it, and we will rest in your word. We will hide this word in our heart that we will not sin against you. We'll walk in obedience to the kingdom of principles, God. We will be doers of the word, not just hearers, God, and we will bring your name, glory, praise, and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We love you with the love of the Lord. You like to sow into this word, I would suggest even if it's a dollar, because this word is so rich today. I'm so an extra for what this word has spoken over my life. I thank God that he is God in our lives and that he has a word to lift us up out of poverty and to our wealthy place. I tell you what, I pray you have faith to believe and receive this word today, for it is sure in your life. Glory to God. You can go to milwaukeemoving.org, click the give button, cash app, the dollar sign, the movement center. We love you with the love of the Lord. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Central. Amen. We call you blessed going and in and out of this day. I decree and declare you're the head and not the tail, above and not beneath, a lender, not a borrower. I thank God for the free favor that profusely abounds on your behalf. Glory to God. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor their seed begging bread. And I decree and declare you will not have to beg for nothing, for God shall supply all of your our needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray these things and we say amen. We say hallelujah, glory to God. 